Hi there! In today's lesson, we will explore the usage of the word mishwar and the difference between the word mishwar and the word rihla. Mishwar simply means a trip or a journey in English, and there can be confusion between its use and rihla, which also means trip or journey. Let's start by outlining the general rule for using mishwar and rihla, and then we will discuss the exceptions or the special cases. Mishwar is for daily stuff inside the same city, like going to work, shopping, or running errands. Rihla is used for long distances, such as traveling between cities or countries, but not within the same city. Let's have some examples. I love the trip to the market. Here, mishwar is used because the market is typically within the same city and involves a short trip or errand. I love the trip to Paris. أنا بحب رحلة باريس. رحلة is used here because Paris is a destination in another country, which aligns with the idea of a long distance journey. I have a trip to the bank today. عندي مشوار للبنك النهاردة. The bank is likely a nearby location, making the word mishwar appropriate for this type of short task-oriented outing. I have a trip to Japan today. عندي رحلة لليابان النهاردة. Since Japan is a foreign country and requires extended travel, the word rihla fits perfectly to describe this type of journey. Special cases to use mishwar instead of rihla. Now that we understand the general rule, let's explore some exceptions. As I mentioned earlier, mishwar typically refers to trips within a city. However, there are instances when it can be used for trips between cities or countries, especially for a mission or a task where you go and return directly. For example, I have a trip to Alexandria to finish some work. عندي مشوار لإسكندرية عشان أخلص شوية شغل. Even though Alexandria is in a different city, the word mishwar is used because the trip is task-oriented, suggesting a short-term mission or errand rather than leisure or exploration. I'm on a work trip in Cairo. أنا في مشوار شغلي في القاهرة. In this example, mishwar is used for a work-related outing, emphasizing a specific task rather than a leisurely activity even though the trip may involve moving around the city. Special cases to use rihla instead of mishwar. Let's explore the special cases of the word rihla. As I mentioned earlier, rihla usually refers to trips between cities or countries. However, there are instances when it can be used for trips within the same city, especially for visiting exploring and enjoying purposes such as visiting landmarks or museums within the same city. For example, the company organized a trip to explore historical landmarks in the city. Here, the word rihla is used even though the trip is within the same city because it's focused on exploration and enjoyment. My son's school organized a trip to the zoo. مدرسة ابني نظمت رحلة لحديقة الحيوانات. رحلة is chosen here in this case as the school trip is for recreational and educational purposes, aligning with the context of a fun or exploratory journey. In this lesson, we explored the usage of مشوار and رحلة, and we also clarified the distinction between the two terms. While mishwar is typically used for short, task-oriented trips within the same city, rihla is used for longer journeys between cities or countries, often associated with leisure or exploration. However, there are exceptions. Mishwar can describe intercity or international trips if they are mission-oriented and involve a direct return. Rihla can apply to trips within the same city when the purpose is enjoyment, discovery, or exploration. Exercise. Let's now move into the exercise part. Pause the video here 
take your time to complete the exercise and when you're ready, hit play to continue and check your answers. Translate the following sentences from English to Egyptian Arabic. 